Great. Well, hi, everyone. I'm going to be talking to you all about designing APIs that stand to the test of time. So if you work with APIs, if you test APIs, if you do anything with APIs, there's chances. Maybe you've heard of Postman. So um, my name is Pooja Mystery, and I am a dev advocate. Um, I used to live in Washington, DC, like last year. So, so good to be back. Um, so if you've heard about Postman, it used to, it's used by 25 million people worldwide. And for many teams, people use it for a lot of different API-related things. So when it comes to designing APIs, I like to think of two questions. Am I creating the right API? And am I creating the API right? So those two questions, the overlap of that is going to create APIs that whether or not you have a good or a bad experience. So there are different kinds of APIs out there, partner APIs, public APIs, private APIs. Um, this experience of creating the right and am I creating it right um, is so important. And you know that with good experience, you get great usability. With bad experience, you get disconnect. So how often do we find ourselves not being able to connect our APIs to other applications with one another? This is a great image that shows that. So I like to focus on three focus areas when it comes to API design. So the areas I like to think about are purpose, usability, evolution. So these uh, areas kind of really dictate um, how you can go forward. So with purpose, what we're really talking about is how useful is this API to my users and what exactly um, is this the purpose of this API that it's fulfilling. So uh, I did this experiment with one of my co good colleagues and I decided to create an API that was near and dear to my heart, which is about coffee. And um, the purpose there was all about finding parameters for a user to interact with. So what are the bean types that you might choose? What are the roast types? And so this is my colleague, Arnaud. Uh, he's, he writes amazing books on APIs. But one of his uh, big quotes is, API is a interface first and foremost for the people. So if you think about usability and APIs, you think about it being an interface that users can interact with, they can work with, they can select parameters with, and they can kind of go, go forward with. So this kind of leads me into usability, which is the next uh, aspect to think about. And this is, you know, choosing, seeing APIs as an interface um, is also a place where you think about usabilities. And one of the biggest places that you can think about usability is when it comes to consistency. So when it comes to consistency, we've all seen this triangle. You know, we've seen it in on our video games, or on our rep remote controls, on our YouTube channels, right? So when you think about this triangle, you see that this is a very predictable design, and it's consistent. And the one place you can be very consistent with is naming. And naming is often uh, overlooked. You know, sometimes there's singulars and plurals when it comes to endpoints. Um, Sometimes you have inconsistency with parameter types. Another place to be consistent is required or not required. Has anyone heard time to first call? This is basically how quick does it take your users to get to that 200 request. If you require too many um, things from them, it, it's not going to happen. And then finally, we talk about usability and error handling. This is kind of the worst error ever, right? This page isn't working. Um, so what does that tell me as a user? Uh, my, I, I, I'm not going to be able to interact with your API long enough. And this is hard to see, but this is that coffee API I, I created. But in here, not only am I sending that 400 bad requests, but I'm also telling the user exactly how to fix that request, uh, where they went wrong, what is, expect what is expected. I'm also not only showing them the error message, but I'm also showing them the positive message, like, all good, we have a uh, light roast type, we have, we have that milk, and unfortunately, we don't have that bean type. So you, you, can, you can express um, usability in both um, positive and negative ways. And then finally, we talk about evolution. Designing APIs that last a long time are ones that are going to uh, have breaking changes. You're going to have to mitigate those, and you're going to see what that looks like. And a, a lot of times, breaking changes can really find themselves in the data modeling. So um, you know, you you decide to change your types from strings to objects. This is a place where uh, you want to be in a very consistent and um, uh, evolutionary mindset when you think about that. And then, of course, documentation, which is often overlooked, but this is how your API is going to evolve. And especially if you publish 
versions of your API, keeping up with your documentation and publishing every single version is going to help you. So with that, if you want to learn about Postman or you want to learn about anything API, be sure to follow me. And um, you know, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. But um, I'm, I'm always chatting about all things APIs, and I'd love to chat with you more. Um, so come find me at this conference. So thank you.